the way of doing this is not to blame the universe, which seems truly pointless, but rather to blame the means by which we know the universe, namely science. Science has taught us that because we have a talent for deceiving ourselves, subjectivity may not freely reign. Its conclusions derive from the interrogation of nature and are not in all cases pre-designed to satisfy our wants. We recognize that even revered religious leaders, the products of their time, as we are of ours, may have made mistakes. Religions contradict one another on small matters such as whether we should put on a hat or take one off on entering a house of worship, or whether we should eat beef and eschew pork or the other way around, all the way to the most central issues such as whether there are no gods, one god, or many gods. If you lived two or three millennia ago, there was no shame in holding that the universe was made for us. It was an appealing thesis consistent with everything we knew. It was what the most learned among us taught without qualification. But we found out much since then. Defending such a position today amounts to willful disregard of the evidence and a flight from self-knowledge. We long to be here for a purpose, even though, despite much self-deception, none is evident. Our time is burdened under the cumulative weight of successive debunkings of our conceits. We're Johnny-come-latelys. We live in the cosmic boondocks. We emerged from microbes and muck. Apes are our cousins. Our thoughts and feelings are not fully under our own.